all right, y'all, we got another integration uh, problem here from an IB uh, exam. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and work this one through. Now, this one you can probably tell because of the two things being multiplied together. And because of the natural log, this is a good um, example of something that you could use integration by parts for. It's also something you could use substitution for. And I'll show you that way, too. In fact, I like you guys, so I'm going to show you two ways to do this. And then you're going to be like, oh, ooh, and ah, and ooh, I didn't know I could do that. And ooh, that's so cool. So we're going to go ahead and work through this in two different ways. All right, so let's just go straight up integration by parts first. Okay, so of course, our V prime is going to be the t, and our u is going to be the natural log of t plus 1. Reason for that being, I can take the derivative of this. I can't take the integral of this, at least not in an easy, nice fashion. And so we're going to go ahead and start with that. So here we go. We're going to go u equals natural log of t plus 1, which means that u prime equals 1 over t plus 1. And I'm okay with that. And then I don't know what v is yet, but v prime is t. So that means that v is 1 half t squared. Okay, so now I go ahead and I put all that in. So I've got uv, so that would be the natural log of t plus 1 times v, which is 1 half t squared. So I just go 1 half t squared. And then all of that, of course, will be integrated from 0 to 1. And then I go minus the integral and then this one was vu prime, so the next one's going to be u prime v. So it's going to be 1 over t plus 1 times v, which was 1 half t squared. Okay? Now, at this point, you may say, yeah, but uh, but I, I, don't, I don't know how to take the integral, not dx dt, I don't know how to take the integral of t squared over t plus 1. And you could try a couple of things. But I tell you what, the easiest way to do this is actually kind of go off here on the side. And we're just going to pull it out. And we're going to go, you know what, let's just go t squared. And we're going to divide it by t plus 1. Okay, now watch this. This, this is going to be cool. So we're going to put a t here. And we go t times t plus 1. That's t squared plus t. And then we're going to subtract. And I get 0 and negative t. And so then I'm going to go t plus 1 into negative t. And t goes into negative t one time. So I go minus 1. So that'll be negative t minus 1. And I add those two, or I subtract those two. And I end up getting a remainder of 1. So my remainder is 1 over t plus 1. And so this right here is the same thing as t squared divided by t plus 1. And so when I rewrite my problem, I'm going to have the integral of 1 half t squared natural log of t plus 1 integrated from 0 to 1. And then I'm going to just rewrite it as this polynomial. Well, not really polynomial because of that fraction there at the end. But, you know, whatever. It's all the same to me. All right. So there we go. That's going to be significantly easier to integrate now. I don't need to do integration by pots again. I don't have to do anything strange. I just need to do some flat-out integration. So, uh, you know, let's go ahead and put these in at the same time. So I'm going to have 1 half t squared, natural log of, so first I'm going to put the 1 in, that's going to be natural log of 2, and then minus 1 half t squared, natural log of 0 plus 1, which is 1. Anybody know what natural log of 1 is? I know what the natural log of 1 is. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and we're going to just take the integral. So, integral of t is 1 half t squared, and the integral of 1 is t and the integral of 1 over t plus 1 is natural log of t plus 1. And then we're going to integrate from 0 to 1. So let's not get too confused. This, of course, natural log of 1 is 0. So that right there is going to go away. Holy smokes, did I really forget to put that, that 1 in there? So I put the 1 in, and I got a, I got a 1 squared. So that's going to be 1 half natural log of 2. Yeah, I'm, Good at math, but obviously not brilliant all the time. So then we, uh, we're we going to go ahead and we'll put the 1 and 0 in there. So we'll go 1 half times 1 squared minus 1 plus natural log of 1 plus 1. So natural log of 2. All right. And then we'll put the 0 in. So then we'll go minus 0, 0, natural log of 1. 
All right, so easy enough. Uh, all right, and oh, holy smokes, I just realized I'm so sorry. I forgot to put this one half. I totally left it out when I did that division. We should have a one half there, which means we should have another one half there, which means we should have another one half there. I apologize. I'll go make this video over someday when I have time, <laughs> which is going to be never. So then we got one half natural log of two minus one fourth plus one half minus natural log of two, uh, one half natural log of two, and of course natural log of one is zero. So these two cancel out leaving us with one half minus one fourth which is one fourth and so there you go you got your answer one fourth it's unbelievable how something this crazy can end up being so simple like one fourth that just blows my mind okay as promised i'm going to show you another way to do this one so here we go here we go here we go we're going to just go we're going to do a little u substitution this time. We're going to just do a little substitution because some people say, I ah, land natural log of t plus 1. That's kind of crazy. I have a difficult time with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go u equals t plus 1. No problem, right? So we're going to make u equal to t plus 1. And so we're going to rewrite our integral now. That means that t equals u minus 1. It also means that dt equals du. Now that was easy, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and put everything in. So I'm going to rewrite the integral. Now note that uh, similar to the last question, uh, because I'm using a u now, I'm going to need to change this. That was t equals 1, and that was t equals 0. And so if t equals 1, that means u equals 2. And if t equals 0, 0 plus 1, u equals 1. So I'm going to do the integral from 1 to 2 of t, which is u minus 1 times the natural log of u and then the dt just simply turns into a du and from here we're going to go ahead and do u substitution again again I'm going to make the natural log of u be my u and u minus 1 is going to be the b prime so I got u equals natural log of u which means u prime is simply 1 over u and then v we don't know yet but v prime equals u minus 1 so v equals 1 half u squared minus u that's probably getting a little small for you sorry about that but I am saying everything as we go so we're gonna go ahead and throw all that back into our problem now so we're gonna go the integral from 1 to 2 uh, sorry not yet we need to do uv first Oop, go away uh, yep. okay so u v so 1 half u squared minus u that's our v times u and uh, that should be natural log of u and that will be integrated from 1 to 2 and then we're going to subtract the integral from 1 to 2 not of v prime u but u prime v so u prime was 1 over u and v was 1 half u squared minus u which conveniently enough a lot of those u's are going to go away so we'll go ahead, we'll put this in, we'll start working this out. So we'll go 1 half times 4 minus 2, and all that is going to be multiplied by the natural log of 2. All right. Minus, and then we're going to do the same thing with 1, but note that natural log of 1 is 0, and 0 is going to be multiplied by that, so I'm not even going to worry about it because it's just going to be 0. All right, then minus, and I'm going to rewrite this in one more step. So from 1 to 2, and we'll distribute the 1 over u, which will give us 1 half u minus 1 du, and that's an easy integral, right? So 1 half of 4 is 2 minus 2, which is 0, times natural log of 2 will be 0. So I'm just going to end up with negative, and then uh, integrate. So u would be u squared and put the 1 half in front, so 1 over 4 u squared minus u integrated from 1 to 2 and we just put the numbers in and so it should be fairly straightforward to, to put those numbers in and we end up with negative 1 over 4 times 4 2 squared minus 2 
Okay, so that'll be our first set right there. Yeah, let's just go ahead and put that in brackets. So that's the 2 minus 1 over 4 times 1 minus 1. And so there's the end. And so we just kind of work that out. 1 fourth of 4 is 1 minus 2 minus 1 fourth minus 1 would be negative 3 fourths. And so minus negative 3 fourths would be plus 3 fourths. And we go 1 minus 2, which is negative 1, plus 3 fourths is negative 1 fourth. And you got the negative in front, which gives us our final answer, again, of 1 fourth. Ta-da! So that's not bad. I did it two ways in 10 minutes, 11 minutes, and it was six marks. And I did a lot of talking there. Anyway, there you go.